Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Now, let's address lighting for just a second. It's pretty dark in that room. How do we adjust that? Let me give you a couple tricks. Number one, if I click on the light bulb, choose the light bulb, there's an option here called ceiling. A lot of people, when they work in these small rooms, will go under ceiling. They'll turn the light on to 60 watts. And if you look right down here, see right down here, there's a little yellow circle here. You can move that light around anywhere you want. So I can adjust where that light is. Notice the shadow on the skirt changing on my screen. Now, a lot of people don't like this light, and here's why. You notice it makes kind of like a really bright circle up here at the top. A lot of people don't like that, and I don't like that either. So here's what I typically do. I use lights from uh, room furniture, and we're going to take a spotlight, just a, just a recessed light. I'm going to drop it right here in the middle of the floor, and let me show you something I'm going to do with this. Is, number one, I right-click on it, and I go to its properties. You can make it whatever brightness you need. I'm going to say it's 60 watts. And see down here where it says profile? That shows you how it's going to disperse the light. So if I come down here and say round, you'll see that it has more of an even dispersion of the light. I'm going to do one more thing. Let's go into the light, and I want you to notice that this light is this black cylinder. A lot of times people want to put lights in rooms, but they want to hide them. They want light, but they don't want to see the light. Let me show you a little trick. If you go into variables, there's an option right here called Properties. See where it says Display 3D? If you turn this off and say no, the light disappears, but the light is still there. So if I were to go back and take a look at my perspective, see the light coming down through the shelves right here? There's still a light. But if you were to look at the ceiling, look up, there's no light in the ceiling itself. It creates light without showing a light. So again, the way we did that was we right-clicked on the light, we went to its attributes, we clicked on variables, and under the feature called properties, we simply changed the answer to no, and the light disappears. Now I could take this light, and I could say duplicate. We'll click here, we'll slide this guy over here, and then if I come back in and I take a look at my closet, look at the difference in lighting. Matter of fact, look at the skirt. You can actually see there's a pattern on the skirt now, and you see reflections and so forth. For other great ideas, please join the 2020 community at www.2020spaces.com forward slash community.